What's up, video blog time? <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to try to be a little more consistent with the video blogging. Um, I really don't know, I guess I don't know where to start, but let me start with, um, last night I had a really weird dream. One, three, two, one. Alright, let me kill that. No, nah, but I had a really strange dream. I was um, dreaming about um, some dude lit a bunch of mice loose, and we um, they were everywhere. And you know you don't want to be around mice, so people we started trying to catch them and stuff. And then I eventually ended up getting surrounded and waking up, and it was pretty it was pretty bad. So on the suggestion of uh, Nika Chalmers' sister, I went and looked up some of the meanings of my dreams. And so when they say you see mice in your dreams, it indicates that you're spending too much time dwelling on minor problems and insignificant matters. Um, I don't really see how that relates to me, but I'm not dwelling on the minor things anymore, if I was. <laughs> that easy. Uh, so anyway, I woke up probably about, I guess it was like 4 a.m. or something like that. It was... It was like in the middle of the night, and um, I think I Twittered it too. And so it was kind of, I was like, oh, I gotta Twitter this before I forget about it. So I Twittered about my my dream, and then on uh, trying to fall asleep, I may I, I I Twittered another, uh, I guess quote or something. And then I'm not quoting anybody. I made it up, but um, I think I said what. It, there are ways there are there are ways to other worlds. Sleep is a window and death is a doorway to them. Um I mean you can you can figure out whatever that means, you know, take it however you want to. But uh me personally I kinda saw it as there's other realities, there's other things. Me being um a Christian, I do believe there's life after death. And I mean or you can take it like that. Not even like there's actually literally other worlds, that, um, but you can take it as in like say you have your crackhead or something, and you know when you're fiending and whatever that that drug or addiction that you have, that you're in another world. You're not in the same reality as someone that is sober. So you can take it however you want to. There's other ways, you know. And when you when you sleep and when you dream, you're not necessarily living in that world. You're just peeping in there. Like you can always wake up. And you can always leave that. And so that's what I meant when I say, like, sleep is a window into those worlds. And, of course, death is um, one way out of this world anyway. All right, so don't take it too seriously. Don't take it too hard. Just take it how you want it. It's like like my, my phrase, the devil hates a loser. It can be with it. many ways to translate it. Just take it how you want it. Uh, what else today? Today um, I saw a nice article. You guys can always check the blog, willwash.blogspot.com, um, and I'm going to have links on there uh, for the stuff I talked about. Uh, there was an article on, online about uh, flip-flops and the amount of bacteria that's on flip-flops, and they were saying that flip-flops can um, possibly kill you uh, because of the number of bacteria and dangerous bacteria that you can walk on, um, E. coli, uh, feces spit bacteria that comes out the mouth. You gotta remember that your just your feet. You're talking about your, your bare skin on these little absorbent, soft, squishy, cheap plastic layer and you're walking through the, you know, just through the street. So people spit, they may urinate, you know, you walk through the bathroom, you know, uh, everything ain't making it to the urinal. Um, so and you and you're walking out there barefooted. Now what if you have like if you have cuts on your feet or your feet is bruised, um, you know you know, feet can take a lot of damage. So you're sitting there putting your feet out there in particularly in dangerous position where it can be get bacteria and stuff like that. So they did a study. They listed the number of the tens of thousands of bacteria that collect on flip flops. And I don't know anyone that washes their shoes. I mean, like scrubs their shoes with antibacterial. I mean, I know some people that are really anal and they, um, you know, keep their, their kicks clean. But that's not the same as, you know, 
scrubbing those flip flops with some antibacterial soap, you know, and I don't know who's going to take the time to do that with some cheap flip flops. So you, most people don't, and you know, so within four days of flip flops, you know how much bacteria and germs and um, and stuff you know collected on that. So all y'all cover your feet, basically. You're only walking around in public, put your feet out. That was a nice little article. Um, also, shout out to Lou for the link. If you guys guys go to NFLshop.com and you look for the Redskin jersey for Leron Landry, it has Michael Vick's name on that. Tell me what that means. What it means is Vick going to the Redskins? I hope not. I'm a Cowboys fan, um, and I want Vic to play again. But what real, what's really funny if they had Vic's name on the dog jerseys. <laughs> Uh, a little bit of evil humor on that one. Uh, this morning on, on the way in, I was listening to the Slaughterhouse album. I gotta give it a thumbs up. Uh, I liked it. That's what I was just playing on earlier. Now that that song, the one I like that video. Me personally, I think that video is hot. Um, and I like the guitar riffs in there. And now, you be on judge. I think Joe Budden's out of place talking about Method Man. They probably should have took that track off the album. I don't know why it's still on there. But I guess because we're another black eye. I don't know. I don't know. I don't condone, I don't condone violence normally, but um, if you run your mouth, you get what you got coming. It's just that simple. Don't be hating. All right. Um, also, I I discovered a new artist today. I didn't know about him. I'm going to share it. Uh, um, it's a her, not a him. Uh, apparently, if, if you're up for music, I guess you probably know about Nicki Minaj. I don't know. I'm just learning. She's signed to Lil Wayne's uh, Young Money label. Uh, I downloaded her mixtape today. It was pretty hot. I'm gonna, pat, I'm gonna put a link on there for you guys. Check the blog. Um, uh, they comparing. They call her Monica Lewinsky. They they're saying she got like a little Kim vibe to her. Um, but I, I don't know, I've seen a couple of YouTube videos, and um, she seems like a little sweet girl. A little nasty, but she's sweet. Um, so she got some hot songs on there. I'll put it, like I said, I'll put a link. Can you hear this? Necessarily catch on to you, but um, and plus she's after a little Kim, so she sounds like an imitation. But she's still hot, uh, considering that not many um, female rappers are doing anything right now. Sorry, but I guess uh, that's about it. I got soccer tonight. We're in the playoffs. Um, this is our first playoff games. If we win, hopefully we go to the champ. I think we will play. The, we'll go to the championship. And we could possibly get a free t-shirt. So, um, wish me luck. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to try to do more um, video blogs. I'm going to try to do it every day. I'm kind of hyped. Madden comes out Friday, so don't be mad if you don't see me on the weekend. 
because I will be in front of the TV on the couch playing Madden. Uh, maybe I'll broadcast some of that. I don't know. But it is a Madden weekend. Friday night is Madden party. Oh, District 9. Uh, I'm catching the midnight showing. I'll let y'all know how I like that too. All right, peace out.